Got a question for Russell? Yeah, Russ, uh, Merry Christmas to you, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody who's uh, on the call. Um, this might be a, a really dumb question, but um, with Rashad Penny being out for a year, he just got to practice for a couple weeks, return to the game. Uh, I'm curious, when guys are out and they get to come back, whether it's in a meeting or in, before the game or at their first practice, you guys recognize that at all? Is there any kind of shout out like, hey, we got Rashad back? I don't, whatever that might be. Is there something you guys do to acknowledge that how cool that is? Well, first of all, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, it's a special time of the year. It's been a crazy year, um, but uh, we can't take for granted, uh, you know, these these moments like this. And so I'm grateful for everybody here. Um, but yeah, for Penny Man and, and for other guys who come back, you know, it's always an excitement. We 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 we, we cherish everybody. Um, we love everybody. We know how hard guys have worked. You know, guy like uh, Penny, he's worked so hard every day to get back. Um, it's it's a true gift. Uh, to 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 be able to come back and just feel great and to go for it, you know, and he's going for it, and we, that's what we love. Curtis, yeah, Russell, with the Rams, you guys have lost five of the last six to them. What is it about what they bring to the table that is such a tough challenge for you guys? Well, I think it's all about this game. You know, that's the only focus. You know, is is, is being ready. They got, they got a great pl the team. They got a great defense. They got a great offense. They got great players across the board. Uh, we did too. So we know it'll be a matchup. We know it's always a great matchup and a great game. Brady. Hey Russ, I know we've asked you about uh, the Mexico trip and uh, swimming uh, a few times before, but how did the whole thing with with DK and swimming come about? And what what do you remember? What do you remember him telling you? Because if I remember correctly, he had not swam before that. Well, we were flying down, and, uh, you know, I asked him, I said, uh, these guys are all riding their bikes right now. It's hilarious. You guys should see this, by the way. I wish you guys were here for this. It's hilarious. Um, but uh, Dwayne Balance, literally, you know, <laughs> it's just so funny. Uh, okay, anyways. Yeah, yeah, but it's super funny how they're all you know, they're all just enjoying this thing right now. Um, but anyways, uh yeah, so I, I think the thing with Mexico was, um, you know, the reality is is that uh, we were flying down, and he said, you know, I, I hadn't had the, I, I never swam before, and we were talking about, you know, getting in the ocean, getting in the water, and all that kind of stuff. He's, you know, and swimming, and and uh, we were talking about the pool and everything else. He's like, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know how to swim. I, I've never done it before. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, you've ne you never got, you never swam. And so I was like, listen, I'm gonna teach you. He goes, ah, I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that. Here comes Dwayne. Here comes Dwayne. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. My man. Anyway, he said, "Y'all be safe out here." Um, but yeah, so I, I think um, one of the things for us was, uh, you know, just we just wanted to have a good time. You know, we wanted to work and, and get the work in. But you know, he was talking about recovery and you know all the things that I do and all that. And one of the primary things is is definitely swimming and getting in the water, and that's definitely helped a lot. You know, over the years, I got this thing all close to me. Um, but over the years, and so, um, yeah, I told him, "Listen, I'll, I'll teach you. You know, let's let's do it." And uh, we we did. We uh, got in the water. He's so tall, you know. He's a lot taller than me. So when he's on the when he's on the you know four foot side, you know, he's he's two and a half feet outside of it. So he he's all right. Me on the other hand, I got about a couple of inches to spare. Um, but he. Uh, but anyways, we, we just we just hopped in. We just started slow and and uh, got comfortable. That's the key: getting comfortable in the water first, and getting comfortable breathing and everything else, and teaching them how to breathe. A lot of times, you don't know how to breathe underwater. Like, you know, a lot of people don't know you can breathe out your nose and all that kind of stuff. So we just kind of slowly started, and uh, next thing you know, literally, we were in the water for about three and a half hours, maybe four hours, just swimming the whole time. And he did, he did not want to get. I was like, bro, we gotta get lunch. <laughs> like, come on, let's go. And you know, next thing you know, I was stayed in a little longer and. And we end up ordering lunch at the pool, and the next thing you know, we're in there for another couple of hours. So, uh, so every day he has been in, and now now he's in here all the time swimming on his own, and it's so it's cool, you know. It's it's uh it's one of those things that it's that's pretty awesome, you know. Just you know, part of his recovery too as well, which is really important, I think. You were in a pool, not the ocean, right? Yeah, we were. No, no, we, <laughs> we were doing the ocean thing, not knowing how to swim. So yeah, we were in the pool. Uh, Molly McGrath. Hey, Russ, good to see you. It's been a while. Good to see you guys are having fun and staying loose over there. Yes, Molly, good to see you again. How you been? I've been good. I've been good. I'm great, excited great. to cover you guys this week, and I'm excited that you guys have those running backs back and healthy. I just wanted to follow up on that and how that makes your game a little bit different and how you think your offensive approach will be different in this game against the Rams versus what it was last time you saw them. Well, I think anytime you have you know some of the best players in the in the game like Chris Carson and Carlos, it's always a great thing for us. And so those guys have uh, 
been been great for us. They bring the physicality, you know, to a, to the game. I thought Alex actually ran really well last game. He had that sweet touchdown run. But you know, I, I think to um, to have those guys in the game, it definitely sets a mentality and a physicality to the game. You know, that you, that you definitely want to be able to have. And I think that's what they bring the best. And I think that's will be an added addition to the game for sure. Mm -hmm. Greg. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas, Greg. My son wants to know where you got the bikes, and do they come in turbo? <laughs> they do come in turbo speed, uh, and uh, they got lights on them. They got they got the uh, they got the big handlebars for these guys. They're so tall. <laughs> Jamal, so that's it right there. Three. Uh, they're pretty cool. You guys would like these. I wish I wish you guys were here to experience this here. I'm I'm sure you guys would love it. But um, yeah, they're they're called fat scooters. Um, so I I got pretty close with the the guys who own it and stuff like that, and I had them uh. I had them make custom make them for them and all that and put their numbers on it and it's pretty cool. They're pretty fun. You, you of course you've done this a few times. You did the TV, you did the Alaska Airlines tickets. You they probably know what, how you appreciate them already, but what does a gesture like this do for just camaraderie and just lighting up this and grinding the season? Yeah, you know, it's it's been a crazy year, you know, and, and uh like I said, you know, COVID, everything that's happened and just we want to bring joy to these guys, man. They 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 work their tails off every day. Uh, I'm grateful for them. Uh, you know they've been great for me all year. They've been battling guys who had to step up too, as guys have been injured at times. And just I really love these guys each individually. They, and they all have their own identities. They all have their own personalities. And uh, they but they really mesh really well together as one unit. You know, one body, one mind kind of thing. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm so grateful for them. So you know, whatever I can do to. Uh, Shout those guys out and just grateful for them. They don't get all the praise all the time, you know, uh, you know, and, and all that. But uh, when we score a touchdown, it's, it's because of those guys. You know, they, they do a great job and uh, they battle, and uh, that's what that's what makes it so exciting. Michael Sean. No, they're 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 they're, uh, they're electric, so you, you just charge them up. Yeah, you just charge them up. Michael Sean, you have a question? Yeah. Um, hey, Russ, this isn't specific to this game in general, but just how much pressure do you put on yourself to be great? Pressure? I don't know. I don't know if I want to call it pressure. I, I, I think an expectation. I think, um, you know, I think by the way I work, by the way I prepare, I think it's all about preparation, Mike. And I think, you know, you prepare like crazy and, uh, you know, you try to try to be great every week. And uh, there's ups and downs throughout the season, ups and downs throughout the year and all that stuff. But there's also been a lot of great highs. And you, you, you just, you know, just try to sustain, you know, try to just stay focused on the, on the goal and the mission. The mission is to win it all. You know, the mission, is, it, it's, it's supposed to be tough. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to be difficult. It's not, not easy to be great. It's not easy to do this and do that. And, and uh, I'm always up for the challenge, you know, and uh, I'm looking forward to the process. I, look, I love the process, as I always tell you. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't put added pressure on myself. I just, I just, uh, I guess, I guess I, I do, I, I do hold a high, 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 high standard for myself. But I don't call it pressure. I just, you know, I, I have told you guys before, and I've always said this to you guys over the years, but I, I consider pressure when my dad's on his deathbed. You know, I consider pressure people, you know, having to deal with what's going on with COVID. And pressure is uh, everything that's going on in the world today. And, you know, what I get to do is, is not real pressure. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a gift. It's a gift that I love and I, a gift that I, I, I thank God every day for. And, uh, you know, and so I get to smile through it, and you know, I'm too blessed to be stressed about it. What have you learned about yourself as a quote unquote member of the media with like your Danger Talk podcast series as you're the one like interviewing people now. Well, you know what's really cool is, is uh, you know, really getting to know people. I, I think that, you know, over the years I've kind of opened up more as you guys know and just all that, but I think just um, just getting to know people and getting to know why people are successful. I just had a great conversation with Sue Bird, for example, and you know, and we've known each other for years, but I, I think how much I've, I, how much knowledge I gained from her just about how her mind thinks and her process and some of the great ones she's been around and you know other people like Dwayne Wade that I love talking to and just figuring out why he's been excellent for years and the preparation that he put into every day and every detail. Um, you know, Candace Parker, you know, listening to her and her talking about, you know, success and what that looks like and just I've, I've been around some really cool people and being able to talk to some really cool people along the way. Joe Montana, I mean, talking to Joe Montana, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And just to, to be able to talk to him, you know, about his everything, the highs and lows that he had to go through and, and the seasons and life. And, you know, it, it's a joy. And I think that um, I think the biggest thing in terms of that process for me is being me, you know, being authentic and just, you know, really also listening and just 
gaining knowledge. I I really love it. Um, so it's been a cool cool journey for me, just learning a lot, especially on Danger Talk, and just learning a lot from others that have been, you know, where I've been, or they've 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 even even been further, and uh, where I'm go trying to go. And I think that's that's always inspiring to me. John Boyle. Russ, how important for you guys is it as an offense to, to have the versatility to do different things game to game, whether it's you know the quick passing game against Washington or running the ball to bounce out, just not necessarily the same thing every week, but adjusting for game. Yeah, I think the great thing that we have on offense is we have capability to do everything and anything. I think you know we get it out quick, we throw it deep, we can mid range game it, we can run it downhill, we can run it outside on the edge, we can do trick plays and do all that stuff too. You know, have some fun with it, but. You know, I, and I think we got a great kicking game too that we trust. You know, and it gives us in great situations as well um, from from Michael, Michael, and, and and also obviously you know Jay. And so all the things that they can do helps us as well, and so it gives us confidence. And so I think I think for us, um, you know, we play in the toughest division of football. Every week is a challenge. Every game is a, a big moment. When when you when you're trying to win it all, you're going to play your, you know, some of the best teams, and we're one of those teams, and and vice versa. And so. Um, we know every game is going to be uh, a battle, and I think that for us is you know always trying to find a way to win the game, and that's really you know why I play this position, why I, why I do what I do is to win the game and and to uh, to do it at a high level. AJ. So my first question is really important: Is there a speed limit on those scooters? <laughs> Uh, no speed limit. There, uh, there may be a speed limit in the VMAC, but <laughs> the thing goes pretty fast. I'll tell you that. Um, so yeah, so you know the guys, the guys are not worried about the speed limit, though. I don't think in here. So they have a pretty tough task on Sunday, obviously, with the guys that uh, they're going to be trying keeping from you. So as you prepared for this week, just talk about the unique challenge that the Rams present in. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, AJ, they, they did do a great job up front, you know, um, their defensive line. I mean, they've had, you know, I think I think about everybody talks about Aaron Donald. Obviously, you know, he's one of the best players to ever play this game. I think he's one of the best defensive linemen, and I got a lot of respect for him and how he plays the game. And so everybody knows about him. I think the, the one of the guys that's one of, them, you know, the toughest guys to play against who I've admired over the years and I've got to know is, is Brockers. You know, he's just – He's he's a tough challenge. He's been there for so many years. He knows the system. He knows the game. He he, he plays at the highest level. Uh, I think he's one of the most underrated defensive linemen in the game. I think he plays the game the right way. He knows things. He just plays it with with a tenacity, um, you know. And and obviously Floyd has really picked up the game for them. You know, on the edge edge. Um, they got they got guys that rotate in. You know, they they're really talented. But I I think um, you know for us, you know, when you're trying to win a championship and. You know, playing for the NFC West and all that, you, you know, you're going to have these moments and these great opportunities, and and uh, so we're poised, uh, we're excited about it, and um, we know we got a tough challenge ahead of us. Mark, uh, Russ, in the last game with the Rams, uh, you guys did a pretty good job of keeping Donald in check. Uh, I think you only got one quarterback hit, but the sacks came from linebackers, and your running backs were. Uh, Collins and, and Dallas, who are obviously less experienced, how big a deal was there uh, the absence of the regular running backs in pass pro for you? Well, Alex had just kind of joined the team. I think he, he had done a really good job of running the ball, and, and I think he's been a great running back you know, over the years. And uh, obviously it was exciting to have him back out there. And so, um, you know, and then, you know, obviously DJ, you know, rookie, he's done a great job for us. Unfortunately, he's injured, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think you know when you're playing one of the best teams in, in the game, like the Rams and and and, and us, and that, those kind of matchups, you know, uh, that experience definitely helps. I don't think it's the, you know, the end all be all kind of thing, but I think it definitely helps, you know, especially for protection and those moments and all the pressures and looks and everything else. So um, those guys did a good job. I think Chris, Chris and Carlos obviously have played so much football over the years, um, you know. So we we have a great stable of running backs, and we're really excited about um, them stepping up f uh, for us this game. Last one for Russell, Larry Stone. Yeah, hey, Russ. Uh, you, you were pretty hard on yourself after the, the last game against the Rams. Uh, how do you reflect upon that game and kind of what went wrong for you? And uh, what's the key to, to turning that around? Uh, I think the key is just this game. <laughs> you know, just focus on this game, this moment, this play. Uh, it's not anything else. I don't, have to go, I don't have to dig back too far. You know, I think uh, the reality is I've played a lot of great games over the years, and I know uh, what it's like to, to play great and to 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 ball out and do all that so i'm not i'm not even thinking about it uh 
Larry. You know, I think the biggest thing is is uh, I'm thinking about uh, getting ready for this red zone, getting ready for you know, uh, you know, red zone install and everything else we have coming up. And so, for for me, um, you know, being super decisive uh, just in everything. And I think biggest thing is is uh, you know, go win. You know, and, and find a way. You know, find a way against a great team. You know, we got a lot of respect for these guys, and you know, let's let's see if we can make it happen. Thanks, Russell. Yeah, thank you guys. Go Hawks. Merry Christmas, everybody.